Command Aerospace has been in the helicopter business for approximately 80 years, uh, developing several aircraft, uh, the SH-2G, which was used by the U.S. Navy, and the K-MAX heavy lift helicopter, which is used throughout the world in logging and firefighting with 6,000 pound lift capability. In the early 2010s, the United States Marine Corps approached us about providing a capability for logistics in Afghanistan unmanned. We made an unmanned version of K-MAX, which could lift 4,500 pounds, and it was very successful. Lessons from that and in communication with the Marine Corps, they identified they have really a need for a lesser payload capability, but still having autonomous operations. And with that information, we developed the cargo UAV to handle about 800 pounds as opposed to 4,500 pounds and be able to operate fully autonomous in all weather for that shorter range within you know, 100 to 300, 500 mile logistics. The program is moving along. We are working on our FAA certifications to conduct our flight tests with it. We have done half scale flight testing and moving to the full scale now, just working with FAA to get our clearances for us to, to commence our doing our flight testing of it and also working programs with the Marine Corps to then enter into testing with them to meet their testing requirements. It's currently running a Rolls-Royce RR300 gas turbine engine driving the four rotors. Cargo is designed to operate, I like to call it somewhat of a truck. You can put whatever you would like to put on it and carry things in several different ways. You can operate with a cargo pod that attaches on the bottom, which you can load with whatever supplies that you're trying to carry. You can long line with it, so you can, you can carry a net and cable underneath to transport to and from. You can do sensor pods. There, there are multitude of ways that you can carry things onto the system. What its usefulness depends upon what your mission need is. It is intended to be a fully autonomous vehicle with very minimal interaction on the ground. It takes 20 minutes to take it out of its container to get it in the air, ground programmed, allowed to fly autonomously to its destination, and can even find its own landing area and clear it autonomously to deposit its cargo. We've had a great deal of interest from all over the world. We've had interest in pipelines survey, ship to shore, short range logistics carrying heavy cargo from you know, one storage facility to another storage facility, so the, the last mile carriage. We have a launch customer, PHI. They handle logistics for Shell Oil. Excellent partnership with them. They're going to be getting our, our first runs off the production line to be able to do uh, ship to shore and other operations with Shell Oil and their other customers. So we're looking forward to doing that operations with them. I think our experience with heavy lift has been very crucial in helping to design this. As we have been doing heavy lift for, for many years. K-Max was in production since 1994, so we've got 30 years of, of experience with that. And the information we gleaned working with the Marine Corps on the use unmanned in Afghanistan also contributed greatly to helping do our design. So we're taking our lessons learned from that, plus 80 years of lessons doing helicopters to help drive this design. So far, it's been a very unique approach that to date nobody else has, has approached yet. So we're, we're very excited about being leading the edge on that area. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com.